<laughs> Hello beauties and welcome to another video. I'm Jessica Yik, the Dancing Avon Lady. Today we're testing out this. The Pain Maker. Maybe, maybe not. We don't really know for sure. So this was a request video for me to try out this brand new to Avon, the Con Air for her Women's Compact Epilator. According to the website, it's supposed to be for hair removal. Basically, it's going to pull out my hairs. Yay! Actually, it's not going to be that bad. I've used one before in the past. Um, and, and it's not too, too bad from what I remember. However, it's been some time. So we're going to try this baby out. So the claim is that it can gently remove your hair up to half a millimeter long and even in the most sensitive of areas yeah we're not going there tonight but um i, I did read do a little bit more research and it did say that you're not supposed to use this on your face according to the avon representative facebook group so i'm going to read the instructions thoroughly just to make sure but from what i gather as of right now we're not supposed to use this on your face so i don't know what sensitive areas they're talking about armpits maybe the hair removal is good up to four weeks so i'm actually going to do a follow-up video on this in a bit of time so another feature of this is that it does have two speeds so that it is suitable for the most sensitive of a skin it includes a protective cap it does include a carry bag like or a storage pouch if you will a cleansing brush as well as an adapter because it is an electrical product you don't need batteries for this which actually is a good thing I think um, I mean, it'd be kind of cool if it was rechargeable instead but yeah let's just Let's just see what it is. So they say that hair that is, is pulled out usually lasts for up to four weeks, whereas your hair that you shave, I think it lasts for about a week to maybe two weeks at the most. But however, everything about me doesn't truly, truly grow except for my hair. My hair grows really fast. My nails grow decently fast. So my leg hair and arm, underarm hair, they make an appearance quite often. I have been growing it out for you. <laughs> so I have been growing up these beauties here. See, there you go. I haven't had my underarm hair this long in forever now. There's nothing wrong with having underarm hair. You do you. It's not something that I personally like on me, but I mean, you do you, whatever you like. I'm going to test out a couple of areas. I'm going to test out my underarms. I'm going to test out my leg. I might do a little bit of my arm itself. As you can see, I'm freshly out of the shower. I shaved one side. So I grew up my arm hair, my, my underarm hair for a few weeks. It was the last time I shaved was before my trip. So it's been a, it's been a minute or two. So I shaved what my right leg my right underarm and my left side i am going to leave it to this first things first let's open this baby up so they're saying that it should be the same as 40 tweezers oh my goodness so this is the tweezer that i use right now this is also from avon i'm actually really enjoying this tweezer we'll see how well it does compared to the tweezers my legs i do typically shave my underarms i actually i pluck the hairs i know it sounds a little bit crazy but that's what i typically do with my underarm but my legs i do shave or i use this rolling epilator thing it's very manual it's a little bit tedious but it's kind of therapeutic at the same time i'd also do the same thing for my mustache so let's open this up here it is hello hello my torture device so there's more things in here instructions the cord the pouch don't know what it is yet we're gonna have to read but this is the actual machine itself not that big i actually thought that it was going to be a bit bigger the one that my mom used to have was a fair size i think this is for the more sensitive areas oh 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 and here's the cleansing brush or the cleaning brush to help get all those hairs off and then this the instruction manual so this is not to be used in or near water just learned about the two speeds speed one is for gentle epilation and speed two is for ultra effective epilation so max pullage <laughs> so we'll start off gentle and then we'll go to the max oh cool the removal epilation head is washable in water oh so accessories for the sensitive area. This reduces the number of epilation discs for armpits and the bikini line. I don't. I, I. I'm. I might do the bikini line off camera. 
Yeah, you don't want to see anything like that. So I'm going to do it off. Maybe I'll just have the sound on and you can hear my screams. To prevent the hair from basically ingrown hairs, you want to make sure you exfoliate once or twice a week is what they recommend. Ideally, the day before hair removal, avoid scrubbing just after hair removal. The other thing is that they recommend for fairly short hairs. It will get hair as short as 0.5 millimeters, but they want to say keep it shorter than half a centimeter. So my arm hairs will may not work. We'll see though. What they recommend is for you to move it in the opposite direction of hair growth. So if my hair is growing this way, I want to do it this way to prevent just cutting up the hair. Do not use circular or back to forth motions. Slowly move the epilators. Careful not to press the appliance too far down because it might slow down and make it less effective. So for sensitive areas, they say use this and at speed one. If your hair is longer, then one centimeters, they recommend cutting it with scissors before using a hair remover. To remove the hair under the arms, move the applicator on the upward motion and the second time a downward motion. So I go up and then down. I should tie my hair up for this so that I don't accidentally remove anything that I don't want removed. <laughs> Can you imagine get caught? Oh my goodness gracious. That would be horrible. And then the final thing is that you also want to moisturize after hair removal. They recommend a moisturizing milk. So the, the Skin So Soft Milk Lotion would actually be perfect for that. I don't have that on hand right now. So instead, I am going to use a light moisturizer, which is the Macadamia Oil Body Mousse. This is the foaming one. All right, let's get a pull in. I had to close my door so my screams will wake up the children. Plug goes in the bottom here. The light is on. It is ready. Okay, this comes off. This is protective cap. You ready for this? <laughs> oh my god. That is speed one. Let's try speed two. All right, well, let's do this. Before we get started, please make sure you're subscribed to see me in other situations I get myself into. Let's try this. I'm going to show you my legs. Lots of beautiful hair on this side. This side I already shaved. Look at this, look at this, look at this. You will take care of that now, won't you? Am I nervous? Slightly, and that's okay. All right, armpits. Holy, holy so much hair. I can't believe I just showed you my underarms. See, I shaved this side. But the thing is why I don't like shaving my underarms is that I find it misses things. Like it misses sections. And you get these rogue hairs. I also get ingrown hairs on my underarms a lot. I think I actually don't exfoliate enough there. I just bought the exfoliating spray from the face shop and I used that a few times now. Oh my gosh, love that product. So hopefully that will help. I just did a lot of sweating on my trip. TMI, I know, but hey, we're all about open book here, <laughs> super honest. We're also going to try a different view. We're going to try something called director's view so that you can see what I'm doing and my reaction at the same time. So it's a new feature that I haven't really tested out too much on my phone. First part we're going to do here. All right, you ready? <laughs> Why am I so nervous? Ah! <laughs> Ow! Okay, not horrible. I'm supposed to pull a top with two hands. I don't know how I'm going to do this the way I need to do it. We got reinforcements. Hubby is now here to witness this. All right, because I'm supposed to hold my, my skin taunt. All right, ready? Here we go. Take two. It hurts less now that I pull my hair taut. Ow! Um, wow! Right by the... That hurts a little bit more. Let's try the knee area. Because this part's always difficult. Ooh! Ooh! Yay! <laughs> it, it's like a weird tickle pain. <laughs> Alright. My husband's gone now. He has to go back to work. So I did the first pass and it's not bad. Maybe I'm thinking maybe I grew my hair a little bit too long. This part here, it got rid of most of it. It did miss like the odd one here and there. 
yeah. So I think I just need to take a little bit more time to work on it. I want to take a few more minutes to work on it off camera, see if I can figure it out a little bit more. What I did notice that once I did pull the skin taut, it hurt less. It wasn't like, it's not like, oh my gosh, this is the most pain I've ever felt in my life, at least not for this part. It's just, there's a bit of a prickly discomfort with a little bit of a tickling sensation. And I think I could really smell the motor running, maybe because it's a new product and it's a new machine. So I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to take a few minutes and try to do different pressures and see how that works and if it makes a difference. So I'll be right back. So that took about another six minutes or so. So time-wise, it's definitely not going to be the fastest way to get rid of hair. But I mean, if you want to pull out the hair, see all those little hairs there? Oh my goodness, that is quite a substantial amount. It does its job. I mean, it really does pull the hair. What I did like about it is like once I started pulling the hair and in, in, like I felt it, I felt it was a little bit more painful when it's closer to my ankles, but behind my knee, I was expecting it to be more sensitive, but it was fine. It wasn't that bad. Not once did it pinch my legs, pinch my skin or anything. And that I find really, really, really impressive. I'm really happy with that. So yes, it was very gentle. On the finer hairs on my upper thighs, I did go back to down to level one. And then when I did do level two, it got the coarser hair. So my lower leg hair. And it did a decent job around my knees too. I mean, it didn't get every single hair, but... And when, even when I shave, I often miss areas. And what I do like is because I do wear glasses in the shower. I don't wear glasses. So I can actually see what I'm doing. So I do like that. So I want to show you the results now. Ready? Ready? So this is my shaved legs. And then this is my, my epilated legs. So what I do notice is that this side overall, it does feel a little bit smoother. I don't feel it to be as prickly as this side here. Often when I shave, I do, like see, I do miss little parts here. And what I'm finding with this is that when I'm going over it, if I don't feel the pricklies, I know I already got the hair, which is really, really great. So I did miss a few sections, like a little bit, but I'm gonna moisturize. I am now moisturized. Thank you, macadamia oil. Let's feel. Miss this entire line right here. Well, what's going to be interesting to see is the rate of hair growth to see how quickly the hair grows back. So I do need to remember that I did forget this line here, but it'll be substantially longer than everything else, right? I was actually very surprised too because I do have this bit of a cut here for my fall. Um, and I thought that it would hurt going around. Nothing. So it didn't tug at all because I did this whole area or else it'd be here, there. So, and even here, what I do like about using the epilator instead is that whenever I shave, sometimes I'll nick these and it'll hurt. And so using the epilator, I felt it was actually a little bit more comfortable around this area here. Now for the underarms. This is gonna be exciting. All right, for the underarms, they say, to use the protective cap, so I'm gonna put that on. Oh, oh, this whole thing comes off to wash, so I can actually run this underwater. Oh yes, nice, 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 I remember reading that now. So this top part comes off like so, and then you can put the smaller one on. I don't think you actually need to take it off completely, it's just I was curious with all the buttons. Oh my goodness, check that out. Oh, that's interesting see it works <laughs> and now there's a smaller area i'm going to put it on one and they say to go up and then down i feel like i need to draw this is where i find a little intimidating so it said first to go up and then go down full disclosure i've never ep epilated my underarms before i've done waxing but never epilate epilated yeah epilated ah! wow Okay, that first one ah! was shocking. It's less, it's not so much that it was like insanely painful, it's just you don't know what to expect. It's kind of like jaws. Do, 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 do. Okay. 
It was just pulling your hair. And it doesn't glide as well. I think it's because I'm like, I'm like really hot. So <laughs> I'm a little bit sweaty. <laughs> Oh, gross. Oh my god. Why does my husband love me? It wasn't so so bad that I was like I thought that I was going to like pass out or anything. It was just it was more shocking than anything for the first round. It's actually kind of entertaining. All right, let's, let's do it again. But I'm only going to keep on level 1. I had to take my glasses off because I'm, I'm starting to get, um, what's lofa in English? Lofa in Chai. The direct translation of lofa is like old fuzziness almost. The thing is, I'm using this and it's good, but I'm almost feeling that the area is too small and it's prohibiting getting at all the different angles. So I'm going to do me and I'm going to go back to using the other size but it did pull out the majority of the hair. Look at that. So I am gonna try the larger size again, still on low and see if I can just finish up this area. What I noticed. <laughs> so I think what I did was I, I grew my hair out too long. I was too prepared and I grew my arm underarm hair a little bit too long. And so I'm having a little bit of trouble with that because they did say that it should be under a centimeter. Then I do think that this is a little bit longer than a centimeter. But however, and then for this area here, I found that when I did like this weird little angle thingy, I was able to like pull the skin taunt. It did a much better job getting the rest of the hair. So taunt Taunt skin is definitely better. I even on tried it on level two and amazingly it didn't pinch once. It didn't pinch at all. So I think it really is just the, what for the sensitive skin part. It's like that feeling of how quickly do you want to uh, get, pull those hairs. Now it feels a little bit sensitive. Not even like painful but a little bit just a little sensitive. I did miss like a hair here or there so it's not like exactly foolproof you'll get every single hair but overall I think I did a decent job. See that? Do you remember what it was before? And then compared to this side here, which is the side that I did shave, it even with shaving, I find that it does miss areas. I'm gonna try the bikini line off camera. I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back. Okay, so for the bikini line area, I did use the smaller one. It's, I wouldn't call it pleasant because <laughs> it is a more sensitive area, but it wasn't, it wasn't as, unpleasant as I thought it would be. So you could feel it, but it wasn't like, oh my gosh, this is like torture. Honestly, it's fine. So what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to end this video today, but we are going to come back in a few weeks to kind of see what the hair growth is like over the following few weeks. I want to see, you know, if it grows back faster or at the same pace as the hair that was not pulled out oh, and I shaved. Overall, I think this is actually a pretty fun machine to use. It's less bulky than the ones that we had in the, I guess it would be 90s and early 2000s, um, um, you know, I had at home. It obviously works. It's not foolproof in the sense that it'll get every single hair in one pass. I feel like you do kind of have to go over the areas a little bit. Pull the skin taunt if you can. It does make it easier. And then also if the hair is a little bit shorter, it's also a little bit easier to grasp. On coarser hair, use the higher setting. On finer hair, use the lower setting. Seems to work very well. I didn't find it overly painful. There's obviously gonna be a little bit of discomfort because you're yanking your hair out, but it wasn't exactly painful. The underarm part, it was shocking more so than anything, but from what I felt on the legs, as long as you pulled the skin taunt, it didn't hurt. Like it was just like, oh, it's kind of like this tickly, slight discomfort. Yeah, I would use this. I would definitely use this. I actually like the idea of pulling the hair out a lot more than shaving. Um, I find that over time, your hair does kind of grow back a little bit finer. Now, is that a myth? Is it in my head? Maybe, but that's what I believe. I'm not going to do my arm hair because my arm hair really is way too long for this. And I think it would just be kind of disastrous. Maybe I'll just do a little patch. I say I'm not going to do it and then I'm going to do it. I'll just do a little patch. Let's see what happens with that. Better than I thought.
I think that if you do want a thorough hair removal, make sure that the hair is a little bit shorter. Definitely is less painful than waxing because I find that the the the, the tearing of the like the wax strips, I find that quite uncomfortable. Um, also, I find waxing myself even harder, especially in different areas, and it's less messy than waxing. So I would probably choose this over waxing, and it's also less time consuming than me using my little rolly thingy on my legs. It's also less time consuming than pulling the hair out one by one if that's your thing. I Like I said, I do do that for my underarms. Probably have to go back though to get the little bit of a strays. Like I have that one piece here, but that's normal too. That And so I'm still saving overall time. It's a fun product to use. You kind of get used to that little prickly feeling and it's actually like, oh, there's another one gone. Oh, there's another one gone. I like it better than shaving because also less chance of razor burns which is highly 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 uncomfortable it's a reusable product that i can use over and over again i don't have to replace it like i do a shaver stay tuned for an update video but if you have any questions about this or if you want to get one for yourself make sure you do go to the link in the description box below this was a fairly fun video to do it was actually less painful than i thought it would be which is great definitely great let me know if you guys have any other product recommendations you would like for me to try i'm more than happy to get it and try it if i possibly can thank you guys for everyone who encouraged me to get this to try it out because i think it was a great product for me to try. Thank you so much for watching and until next time guys, stay well, stay safe and stay fantastic kind. I love you. Bye.